The city simply wanted to assess the status of the underutilized agriculture land in Surrey and gain some perspective on its potential to contribute to agriculture. And uh, we had made the argument that there was a significant opportunity for small-scale human-intensive direct market agriculture in Metro Vancouver and Surrey specifically and that the nature of much of the underutilized land, agriculture land in Surrey, lent itself to small-scale direct market agriculture. So that was the impetus of the Surrey project, really to assess the potential of underutilized uh, agricultural land reserve land in Surrey. So what we found is, uh, simply put, that of the third of Surrey's agricultural land base amounting to about 7,000 acres, about 3,300 of those 7,000 acres could conceivably be put into production of food. Over half of it is effectively lost to agriculture. It's got a swimming pool on it, a tennis court, a house, a driveway, and yet these lands are in the agricultural land reserve and have no capacity to contribute to, to food production. We found gas stations in, in the agricultural land reserve, but about 3,300 acres of land could be put into production. We calculated based on anticipated yields uh, that this land could produce a lot of food. 27 products in the amount that would satisfy Surrey's demand for six months of the year. If the appropriate processing and storage capacity were in place, this land could produce enough to satisfy Surrey's consumption demand for 12 months of the year. It would potentially create over 1,600 full-time equivalent jobs. So in a nutshell, what our study revealed is that this idle farmland, much of it likely being held in speculation, much of it being used as rural residences, much of it being used for non-agricultural purposes, uh, really has the potential to contribute to a regional food system, a regional food economy, and our regional food security. And if we put the policies in place and the supports in place to nurture this kind of food system, we could build a tremendous food system economy. And this kind of food system economy stays in our community and reverberates through our community and would add tremendously to the economic vitality of our communities.